Hello, everybody, and welcome to AEP's live coverage of the 2021 Georgia Senate runoffs. As you can see, Democrats currently hold 48 seats in the Senate, so the Republicans 50 seats. For Democrats to be able to flip the Senate, they would need to be able to win both seats, or Republicans just need one. The reason for this is Kamala Harris would be the vice president, therefore president of the Senate, and she would break any ties, giving the Democrats the majority. And the regular Georgia Senate race is between former congressional candidate John Ossoff and incumbent Senator David Perdue. And the special election race is between Reverend Raphael Warnock and incumbent Kelly Leffler. And we are getting our first results from the Purdue Ossoff race. David Purdue currently leading by pretty strong margins. Um, although we can expect this to narrow up later into the night, a lot of this vote is. Um, election day vote, which will heavily favor the Republican Party. This was expected. We are expecting for the tighter margins to be coming later in the night, not when only one third of the vote is reporting. As we saw in the um, the presidential election, Donald Trump was leading in Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Georgia, and Arizona, and all five of those states ended up voting blue. And now, as we take a look at the state of Georgia, David Perdue with about 52% to John Ossoff's 48%, with about a third of the vote in. <clears throat> John Ossoff doing fairly well in Atlanta's suburbs. He does need to um, do better in both Cobb County and Newton County for him to be able to have a shot. He's not winning by 10% in either, which he will need to do if not to be able to win. And in Newton County, as you can see, John Ossoff currently leading by about 9.4%, with only a quarter of the vote in. We can expect for his lead to grow as um, more and more of that mail-in vote is counted, as um, the majority of the vote that will be counted first is from Election Day. And same thing in Cobb County. He's leading by similar margins, and it's a very similar story. For him to be able to win here, he needs to win um, by at least 10% in Cobb County, and he his lead will most likely um, grow as more and more um, mail-in ballots are counted tonight. We are also getting our first results from the special election. Kelly Leffler currently leading by about 0.4% with 41% of the estimated vote in. This race is a lot closer than we expected. Um, we expected for it to be this close, but not quite yet. With only 41% of the vote reporting and it already being this close, this is a very good sign for the Warnock campaign. Um, we would expect for these margins to come more at 70% of the vote reported than 40%. And as we take a look at the state, Raphael Warnock is doing much better than John Ossoff. He is currently leading in Washington County and leading by at least 10% in Newton County. And as we do take a look at Newton County, there's actually less percent of the vote reported in Newton County than there is in the rest of the state. And as you can see, Raphael Warnock currently leading by about 10.6% in Newton County. And in Washington County, this is not a big county, 79% of the vote has already been counted. Um, not a lot of voters here. However, in a state like this, every vote counts. Um, and Raphael Warnock, very narrowly leading. This is a county that Joe Biden won. He doesn't necessarily need it to win, but in a um, race that's this incredibly close, he will need every last vote that he can get, and winning it would definitely not be a bad thing. And now the Senate result, or the Senate, if the results hold, Democrats would be at 48 seats, the Republicans at 52 seats. Democrats would only have, um, they, their, their um, Republicans' majority would only be by one um, less state than before. Democrats did pick up races in both Arizona and Colorado, but Republicans picked up a seat in Alabama. So Democrat, um, or so that one Alabama seat essentially canceled out either the Colorado or Arizona seat, and they would not have flipped any of the Georgia seats, so it would only be, um, one seat tighter. Now we are getting more results from the Purdue Ossoff race. About two thirds of the vote is are reporting, and David Purdue is very narrow, very narrowly leading. He is leading by about or a little less than um, two percent. An incredibly close race. Um, this is when we expect for it to narrow up and become this close. With about two thirds of the vote reporting. This is so far um, going on as expected. And as we take a look at the state, John Ossoff is now leading in Washington or Newton County 
by um, that at least 10%, which we said he would need to win at least by um, to be able to carry the state of Georgia. And as we take a look at this, he's leading by about 10.8%. And Newton County has actually reported less of the vote than the rest of the state, which is a very good sign for his campaign, especially considering that over half the vote is in and the rest of the vote will most likely favor him. And as we also take a look at Cobb County, he is not quite leading by um, that 10%, but he is very close. And if it's 9.9%, it's not going to negatively affect his campaign. 10% is just um, what he should be aiming to get at least. And there was also less of the vote from Cobb County than the rest of the state and his lead will only grow, so he will most likely get that 10% anyways. And we are also getting more results from the Leffler-Warnock race. As you take a look at this, this race is getting incredibly close. Leffler winning by 0.18%. This race is incredibly close. About three quarters of the vote are is reporting. Um, we expect for it to be maybe this close, this late into the race, but we expect these numbers more around 85%. Um, but this is not this is not um, out of the ordinary. We were expecting these types of numbers to come around this point um, with this amount of vote reporting. And as we take a look at the county map, Raphael Warnock outperforming um, John Ossoff once again. As you can see, he is um, leading by at least 10% in both Cobb County and in um, Newton County. He is also leading in Washington County, and he is leading by at least 10% in Warren County. As we take a look at Warren County, he is currently leading by about 14 um, or 13 and 13.6 percent. However, 91 percent of the vote is in, so most of the vote from Warren County has already come, but the rest of that vote will most likely favor Raphael Warnock. And as we also take a look at Cobb County, he is currently leading by very similar margins with 60 percent of the vote in, less of the vote than the rest of the state, and as we said previously, most of this vote will favor him. And now the Senate um, results, or the Senate, if the results hold again, same thing as before, 52 for the GOP, um, while the Democrats have 48. And we have just gotten more data from the um, Purdue Ossoff race. 96% of the vote reporting, David Purdue leading by 0.14%. This race is getting incredibly close. Every last vote um, will be counted until we can call a winner here or most likely. And as you see, he is very narrow leading. Um, we won't be able to call, or we'll be able to call winner soon, but we will need to count almost every remaining vote. As you can see, John Ossoff is leading by at least 10% in both Cobb County and in Newton County. He's also leading in Washington County. However, he has not gotten to 10% in Warren County, but he doesn't necessarily need 10% in Warren County. He just needs to do well there. And as we take a look at Cobb County, he is winning by 11.2% with 87% of the vote left. There is still more vote from the rest of the state than there is from Cobb County, which is a very good sign for his campaign as the as um, the majority of this vote from Cobb County will favor him. And also as we take a look at Washington County, um, not a large population as I said before, but he is currently leading by 1%, which is a pretty good sign for his campaign. As I said before, not too many votes from Washington County, but at this point, every vote counts, and um, it's not going to be a negative effect on his campaign. And as you see here, this race, also Raphael Warnock and Kelly Loeffler, is getting incredibly close. Raphael Warnock has taken the lead very, very narrowly. He's leading by 0 0.08, not even 0.1%, with 95% of the um, estimated vote in. Only zero or only five percent of the estimated vote is still outstanding, and as you can see, he is doing very well. Um, he is leading in Cobb County, he or by at least ten percent. He's leading in Newton County by at least ten percent. He is leading in Washington County, and he is leading in Warren County by at least ten percent. As we take a look at Cobb County, he's winning here by f about fourteen point two percent. Um, still less of the vote in from Cobb County than from the rest of the state, which is a very good sign for his campaign. He is going to get the majority of that remaining vote in a state that's this close. Every last vote counts, as I've said before. And as we also take a look at Warren County, he is leading by similar margins. He's leading by about 12.8%. Almost every vote is in a Warren County. Um, not much more that we will see from Warren County tonight. And now the Senate, if the results hold... The Republicans will have 51 seats, while the Democrats hold 49.
and now we can safely project that Raphael Warnock will carry Georgia's um, special seat. He will be the next senator from the state of Georgia with 99% of the vote in. We can project that he will be the next senator from the state of Georgia. As we take a look at this, this was an incredibly close race. He won by 0.8%. There is 2% of the um, vote left. That is expected to favor him. Um, probably not by enough, though, to raise his vote total even by 0.1%. It'll still be um, a, a margin around this. As you can see, he won in Cobb County, won in Newton County, both by over 10%. Same in Warren County. He did end up carrying Washington County, which, as I said, is a good sign for his campaign. Um, very strong showing here from Raphael Warnock tonight. And now the Senate, if the results do hold, we already know that the Democrats will be at at least 49 seats. The Republicans are at 51 if they are, if the results do hold. And now, another look at the Ossoff-Purdue race. 1% of the vote is left, and John Ossoff is winning by 0 0.04. This seat is, this race in general, it's incredibly, incredibly close. And as we take a look at this county map, John Ossoff is winning in Warren County, winning in Cobb County, winning in Newton County by at least 10%. And he is winning in Washington County, which we said he didn't necessarily need, but would definitely help him. And now at this point, he definitely needs Washington County. It's, this race is so incredibly close. And as we take a look at Warren County, he is currently leading by 11.2%. There are 99% of the estimated vote, and as we said, with Raphael Warnock, we will not be hearing much more from Warren County tonight. And as we take a look at Cobb County, um, only or er, he's leading by about 12.4%. Only 3% of the vote left. A little bit more, or a little bit less than the rest of the state of Georgia. Um, like I said, this will probably favor him, but this race is still so incredibly close. And now the Senate, if the results do hold, Democrats will win it um, with a 50-50 majority because of Kamala Harris breaking the tie. And now we can safely project that John Ossoff will win Georgia's regular seat. 99% um, of the estimated voters reporting this race was so, so incredibly close. It came down to the wire. He very narrowly won there. And as you see, um, actually now 100% of the vote won by 0.2%, incredibly, incredibly close race. He did carry Cobb County, Newton County, and Warren County by at least 10%, which we said he needed to do if he wanted to win. Um, clearly, had he not, there was a good shot that he would have lost. This race was so incredibly close. And with that, we can now project that the Democrats will flip the Senate. They now hold um, both chambers of Congress and the White House. Now, as we take a look at this new Senate map, Democrats um, hold both Georgia seats. The only states that don't have, um, that have one senator from each party is Montana, Wisconsin, Ohio, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, and Maine. Maine does have an independent, but um, the independent does caucus with the Democratic Party, so we have considered them a Democrat. And now, if we look at the top politicians in power right now, Joe Biden as the President of the United States, Kamala Harris as the Vice President. Nancy Pelosi is the Speaker of the House. Chuck Schumer is the Senate Majority Leader. Mitch McConnell is the Senate Minority Leader. And Kevin McCarthy is the House Minority Leader. Democrats hold the top four seats. The only two Republicans in this are two Republicans that have to be there um, at being Minority Leaders. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I will see you um, whenever my next video is.